I'm Anthony Rumrell and welcome back to CG for me. So I am working on changing the weight influences on this <clears throat> on this particular character. So there's only one way to know what the influence are it the influences are, and that is to actually pose the character. So um, I'm going to pose a character, and you can see how this is imploding on itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work for now in the component editor and work on the vert level. So I'm going to right click and go to vertex mode and I'm going to select some vertices and I'm going to say that this ankle needs to be influenced 100% here. These vertices need to be 100% influenced by the ankle. So I'm just going to just click on the word ankle L and then command click the word off to off deselect it and then I'm going to type in number one and hit return and that's going to make this area have 100% influence. I'm going to hit four because some of these vertices I didn't select. I'm going to go back to vertex mode and select some more of these. Uh, I said faces I meant vertex. I'm going to give 100% influence to the ankle. And you can see now when I rotate this control that I get 100% of those vertices rolling with it. So I'll go back to the vert level, vertex. And I'll select the next line and I'll say, you know, I want more influence to be to the ankle, so I'm going to give it a value of, say, 0.6. And then from here on, I'm going to favor the, uh, the knee joint here. In fact, I don't want any influence from the hip, so I'm going to type in zero values. And the knee joint, it's going to be favoring it. Let's just put it at 100%. I'll put the next row, have it favor the knee at 100% or 1. You can see it's buckling here a bit, but I'll come back and fix that. And this one here. You know, I like this being halfway, so I'll just clean it up. Type in 0.5, and it'll have nice even geometry evenly between these two. It's like this ring. And I want this to be 100% to the hip. Type in one. Maybe that was too much. So I'll select that again. And let's say 0.85. That's a little better. And the next one could be 100% for the hip. In fact, what I could do is just select this one and grow this selection here and say these three rings are going to be influenced 100% by the hip. Just type in a value of one, hit return, and there you have it. So it's always best after you pose it to repose it and see how it looks in a different position. So I'll open this up, close it up. Might want to add back a little bit of influence here. Definitely want to change the foot. I'm going to soften up this section. Like the front, I think that works pretty well. I'm going to soften this up here just a little bit. So, I'm going to add back in some influence. I'm going to select this ring. And here, instead of using the component editor, this is where I'm going to switch to painting weights. Now with just this single ring select, I'm going to double click my paint weights tool. And it's only going to affect this section. So I'm going to select the joint that I want to add to. Now I never paint in black. I never paint zero. I always add. So I'm going to go down to the ankle and add just a little bit of influence from the ankle back in here. So it's going to be a little softer. Now 
now if I want to put anything back I don't want to paint black so I'll just select the knee shrink my brush size by holding B and add back some influence 